So me and my hair are fighting because it was raining outside and that was like getting into that curly poof position. But in other news, there was an awesome episode of Gotham today. Um, can I just say I'm enjoying seeing the different story arcs going on, I would say. Like, it, it seems like with the show Gotham, each character has their own story unfolding. You got Penguin doing his thing, going around, you know. <laughs> then you have um, <laughs> Gordon Bark wife. I don't I think the most entertaining part of this episode for me was the fact that Selena Kyle was once again in the forefront and we get to see how she develops into basically this badass female villain hero kind of on offense character. She outsmarts Gordon almost immediately into the episode. Then you find out about some balloon killer. Say that is the absolute worst supervillain name ever. Oh, on a side note, you know Selena Kyle. Uh, story arc was the most entertaining for me i gotta say there was some beautiful parts in this episode of comedic relief when like when harvey just totally gets fucked up by this, <laughs> this big black chick that went all kinds of beast mode on him and the only way he was able to even land a hit on her was when gordon had her up by gunpoint now i don't want to ruin the episode but you will see that when they when they're trying to track down the balloon killer they run into this couple and harvey gets his ass handed to him all right now i just had to say that because that shit was funny <laughs> so far i gotta say i'm enjoying gotham i'm enjoying seeing fish mooney storyline unravel Penguin, Gordon, and even Harvey. And I think um, the introduction of villains before Batman actually came along is an interesting concept because we all know the Jokers, we all know the Catwomans, we all know the Poison Ivies, Banes, and so on. But it's interesting to see what villains were around for Gordon to face without the aid of Batman. And I think that is what makes the show unique in a way because you don't see that often. But can I just say, it's refreshing to see Gordon be kind of like the center of attention. And it's not to say that Bruce Wayne is important. You know that's my baby. I'm, I'm spoken for by Batman. <laughs> um, but... It's always important to try and reach new audiences. And comics, you know, they've always had kind of like a, a bad rap, like it wasn't cool or whatever. But now that the geek culture is something that is blossoming into this beautiful plant, I'm enjoying seeing um, creators take the reins and try and be like, look, we have awesome concepts. And yes, it comes from a comic book, you know, fantastical world, but we can make it as gritty and as real as the world needs it to be. Which, again, I say is refreshing because you don't have somebody. Gordon's not somebody who has a bunch of gadgets and cars and, uh, you know, just sex and what's going on. But Gordon can be seen as a real person, even even though Batman is something that can totally be a real thing, because you know if you have enough money, you can buy gadgets, blah blah blah. But Gordon is something that is tangible, because I'm sure there are kids out there who want to be cops and all that, and want to do right and want to do good. And it's important that they have a character to look up to too. And Gordon is like the epitome of the squeaky clean angel in this forest fire of demons and frolicking, trying to make the world a better place. So once again, this Gotham episode was awesome. The biggest, the best points for me was when Selena Kyle outsmarted him, Harvey getting his ass beat <laughs> by a big black woman that was about to drop an entire TV on his head. Um, and I think the most surprising part of the episode, which wasn't really a surprise to me, but was when Penguin showed up at the end of the episode. We all knew Penguin was going to raise his head again at some point, but we didn't, I didn't expect it to happen so early on in the series. Now, I'm excited to see what his plans are and what he plans, like, how he's going to go about doing it. But, you know, I'm looking forward to having to wait and see. So, I hope you like this. This is another episode I say go out and watch. Tell me what your favorite parts of the episode was. And, uh, leave that, you know, leave that in the comment section below. Like, share, favorite, all that good shit. Oh, and don't forget, I will be at Howard University. Well, um, oh, and don't forget, I will be performing during Howard University Homecoming in Washington, D.C. at 7.15 p.m. on Saturday, October 18th. My hair gonna be all did up and that green screen ain't gonna be fucking up. But, um, once again, I'm out of here. Cool, loves you. Cora, 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 man, what are you doing? Stop it. Stop. Thank you for watching Geek D TV. Yeah, there's no one else like me. Yeah. Come back every six day of the week to get your dose of nerdy. Hope you like and subscribe to the YouTube just to find the nerd of you.